KP and I am back with another vlog. If you're an OG, then what is up, KP squad? Gang, 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 gang. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kendra. I'm 24. I'm from Richmond, Virginia, the real 804. And I am an entrepreneur working a nine to five. All right, I know, like, I probably look a little crusty, but I just woke up for real, for real. These meetings, or this particular meeting just be taking me out every time. It's just way too long. I'm about to get myself together. Honestly, my stomach was hurting. When it's my time of the month, like, I get cramps, minor. I get stomach aches, and I get back aches. So, I be hurting low-key, and I just be wanting to be in the bed for real. Like talking today, I, was, I just don't feel like talking for real. I'm not trying to show too much. Okay, all right, y'all. So today I'm really just gonna be cleaning. Okay, y'all. So today, um, I'm just gonna be like cleaning. Okay, y'all. So today, I don't really have like a complete plan, but I know I need to like clean. All right, y'all. So today we're going to be cleaning. No, what? I don't have any plans today, so we're just gonna be in the house. So let's vibe out in the house. Honestly, y'all, I don't feel like doing anything. I feel like laying around and just watching Netflix and just chilling, but I'm gonna try to get some stuff done today. If I don't get it done today, I will get it done tomorrow. I also need to edit for a little bit. Um, I need to edit the video that y'all just seen. And I wanna like give y'all like a few little like house updates that y'all know like the new stuff that I got um some of the changes i mean y'all have seen like little stuff in the last video but like i really want to like show y'all show y'all in this video i'm about to go eat lunch because it is 2 35 i feel like this day is getting away from me All right, let me just show up i'm trying to show up okay so let's just try let's just try to show up girl i hate the lighting in the kitchen apparently it was some flurries coming out of the sky girl what it was just it was just 60 degrees yesterday <sighs> i don't know for lunch i'm just about to eat some leftovers that i made let me show y'all because i made some um mashed potatoes and don't judge my mash y'all i had to work so hard to salvage this freaking mashed potatoes because i didn't let the potatoes cook long enough so they wasn't soft when i went to go smush them so it's it's like chunky mash <laughs> and then the recipe was um what is it to me it was trying to be hot and honey chicken okay so it's supposed to be a little spicy and then it has some green beans with the recipe but what I will say is that this particular bag that I got or shipment that I got y'all had no meat in it. No meat. So I had to go to the store and get the meat separately. Maybe this is what I'm eating for dinner. <laughs> I've had this for dinner <laughs> last night. I had this for dinner the last night before that. And now I'm finna have it for lunch and dinner girl. So y'all, I just finished watching this today so cool video. And as y'all probably know by now, he got shot. Like he did got shot in the legs like multiple times from a home invasion. And when I saw that he had got shot, like I was actually stressed. Girl, them chicken juices is popping. Um, like I was like genuinely concerned. And they were saying like, you know, we from Chicago, people get shot every day. And I hated that that's the norm. Like I know other people that think like that, like people get shot every day and ain't nothing new, but it's like, no, you got shot. Like it shouldn't be a normal thing. I hate that, but he's good, he's straight. So this is really random, but I have eczema 
and recently my eczema has been acting the heck up like look at my freaking skin and this used to be like three different ones but now they starting to smooth out and like flatten out but look at my freaking arms like my skin looks a hot mess like it looks so bad and it's just on my arms oh no i got some on my legs too hold on so like y'all can see that i got like this big old one that kind of looks like if it was chafing and I got some down here. So I think what happened was, is my mom bought some detergent that I think the fragrance was too strong, but it's been taking so long to heal. I've been putting Aquaphor on it. So they are like, like this one is for sure healing. I know it look nasty y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if y'all don't like stuff like this. I know sometimes it's hard for me to look at it. Um, and it's on me, okay? It's hard to look at it and it's on me okay i wanted to show y'all because i want to keep updating y'all so that's the tea if anybody else has eczema y'all already know the deal if you don't have eczema um there's no cure um and i know like my dermatologist has said multiple times like you could just have contact dermatitis um which is like anything it could be anything it could be anything that just triggers your skin to act crazy okay when i was in high school y'all i had the worst flare up of my life this like look of like real patchy and dry and all that stuff i had it all over my stomach like all over my stomach i hated it you can still see the discoloration to this day like it flattens out basically but it doesn't the color doesn't go away so i blame my father I blame him for giving me this bad skin. I got acne. I got eczema. <sighs> I'm done talking about it because it's irritating. I'm about to watch my show. Y'all see me chefing it up? Mm-hmm. Um, I watched Nick and Carla Rochelle. I play in my mind. I wanna dance tonight. It's in the air tonight. I'm I've been in a hole. It is 7.05. So I've really been locked in for a few, like, what, like four or five hours now. So I'm trying to just get my brain back to the present because I've been working in the past. Um, but I think at this late hour, I'm gonna finally start on the project. So basically y'all, I'm gonna be working on my bathroom. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. It's, I think it's gonna make a huge difference and I just cross my fingers that I can do it right. So let's just get into it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am about to try to paint my bathroom tiles, okay? So I have this uh, tub and tile kit. Um, I've seen millions of videos of people doing it. Some people say it's really good, some people say it ain't. So I've got a medicine cabinet installed in here. So I had a contractor come in, actually take the medicine cabinet that was already in here and replace it with this, but it's significantly smaller than one that was in here. Also got the sink faucet changed out. It used to be a rack right here, y'all. And I was trying to figure out how I can get it out of the tile. I started putting pressure on it and girl, I just broke it. Maybe I should spray paint the stuff first and then paint this white so that it'll cover it up anyway. Ever play yourself. This might be a terrible idea, but I'm gonna just do it anyway. You know?
I'm currently just trying to clean the walls and I made like this solution because it said it needs to be very abrasive but the solution I made y'all is so freaking strong I'm gonna have to go to the car and get my mask either I'm really doing my big one or I'm really doing my big one later okay so i'm back my hands smell like bleach real bad um i actually went outside for a second and i feel like my nostrils are like burnt but i had to go get this mask from i was searching for this mask it ain't the mask that i need but it's gonna work for what i need it for because these chemicals is strong now i'm gonna mix the paint and this is the moment of truth right here to be honest you probably been lit a bathroom with no window let me just be a cute thumbnail i didn't ace real comprehension i actually didn't do well so i'm going to keep reading the directions part b part a is the liquid oh my god Looking like a train wreck. Like a really bad train wreck. But um, I'm gonna just cross my fingers. Take off the fufu. Take off the cloud chase. Take off the Wi Fi. Take off the money phone. Take off the car loan. Take off the flex and the white loss. Take off the weird ass jerky. I'm gonna take these steps that I'm taking off top off. Take off the fabricate streams and the microwave memes. It's a real world outside. Take off your idols. Take off the wrong way. Take off the Cairo. Take off the Sandro pay five days stay. Take off the meal and the five Take off the fuck flag. Take off perception. Take off the pop with the hot pad. Take off the hurdle. Take off the unsure. Take off the sensations I had. Take off the fake beat. Take off the fake woke. Take off the I'm broke. I care. Take off the gossip. Take off the new logic. If I'm rich, I'm real. Take off the shit mill. Take off the dojo. Take off the broken bag. Take all that designer bullshit off and what do you have? The men on the run, the profits are banned, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants niggas and bitches to sleep in the box while they making a mockery following us. This ain't monopoly watching for love, this ain't monogamy, y'all getting fucked. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. All my descendants, they come in my sleep and say I am too real. I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal, done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right. You hoping for change, it's miracles, I know the feelings they came with. Oh. It's giving summer, baby. And not me coming back with all this energy but i was knocked out for like two hours y'all i'll be having like really in-depth dreams like my dreams be whole movies like for real, for real i'm not saying that's why i be sleep for so long but the story gotta play out and that's how i be feeling i don't wake up until the story play out but i just finished putting on the third second coat whatever you want to call it a paint I'm gonna keep it a band before I show y'all. Before I show y'all. It's not horrible, but it's not that good. I don't foresee me doing this again for the next bathroom. And y'all, I had a dream that I had another bathroom. Like I had a dream that I had three bathrooms. But let me show y'all. Not too much. So I'm just showing y'all what I did. Not what you should do. Maybe not what I should have done. What I did. I'm keeping it honest. You know, because we keep it real and honest over here. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. All right, y'all. So y'all seen it. Okay, y'all seen it. Okay. Not too much. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to get some more paint. Maybe I'll, you know, take another hack at it. As y'all seen the black, it didn't really work out. So I'm gonna have to like, maybe like hand paint it. I don't know. Honestly, I could mask it a little bit more if I had some more stuff in there. There's literally nothing in there but a few little stuff on the countertop and a shower curtain. But I wanted to show y'all around the house a little bit while the sun is still out. I don't want to. I don't want y'all to insinuate that this is a tour. This is just a progress because it's nowhere near done, y'all. I really see a lot. I see a lot in this space. So um, I hung up this painting that my aunt got me for Christmas. Um, it's given 1990s, maybe even 80s, you know? I don't know why she thought, whatever. I'm grateful, it's cute, it's gonna bless the house. That's why I put it right at the door cause it's not gonna match anything that, that I got going on. So I got this table, I think so y'all can see the details, from Rooms To Go. Um, I could not find any chairs that I love to go with, so I bought chairs separately. I'm not even about to, you know how people be like, oh, don't mind this, don't mind that. Whatever. This is the house that we live in, okay? So I got these two acrylic chairs. They were not cheap. I actually got these. The cheapest ones I could get was off of eBay. Maybe like $20 less than what it was on Amazon. But um, because they were so high, that's why we only got two of them, okay? So I think I'm gonna get two more to go at the ends, and then I'm gonna get a bench to go on the opposite side. Um, this is my new candle that I got from TJ Maxx. And what did I tell y'all? Crack cocaine. This smells so good. The elephant in the room is I got the walls painted pink. It's a very subtle pink, so you barely can see it, to be honest. Then I got my couch. I got my couch from Rooms to Go as well. It came with the pillows. It came with these pillows. And I got these from a little linen shop in Maryland. The couch is actually a pullout couch. So if y'all plan on coming to see me, that's where you're gonna be. I'm not trying to show too much, but it's like a um it's like a blue color and then a pink color. Honestly, I think that they're too thin. And I think that my neighbors can see right through this joint, especially at night. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, but the curtains is up. I took them ugly apartment blinds, them vertical blinds. I hated them so much. That was like the my pet peeve I wanted to get rid of. Then I got this cute little lamp. I put it together myself. It's like nothing crazy, but I like that. It has just like this little button on the floor to turn it on. And I'm trying to kind of hide it with the curtains child. I brought my plant from home and this is a laundry basket, but I put my extra blankets in there. I got the TV as a gift from Best Buy for my parents. Um, we actually got it mounted. I found some guy on Facebook um, and he added an outlet back here. So that's why it's no cords and it's a fire TV. So I don't have no cable. Didn't think I needed it. After me and Daddy left Big Lots, we went to Walmart and I bought this Nutribullet because I wanted to start making smoothies as I can see. I added this paper towel holder from Amazon. I love it. It's just like a little attachment underneath. I got this little, whatever this is called. I forgot what this is called. But the holder for the spoons, I didn't have anything. So I bought this from Amazon. Now this is the guest room, okay? Um... It was a little less all over the place. I really need like a bag organizer. I have so many purses, so many bags. That's gonna be my little business corner as y'all can see. This is kind of put together, you know, but this I'm gonna try to tackle right now. That's really it in here, nothing else. As y'all can see, we got that tiling again in here. So what am I supposed to do? What should I do? Well, I'm gonna show y'all my room. Really not much to see, but I'll at least like give y'all where I got everything from. And I'm just blessed to even have the stuff that I have. Cause y'all know, some people be living on the air mattress for a good two months because furniture is very expensive. So I'm not gonna shorthand the blessings that I do have, but this is it y'all. This is it. This is what my room is looking like. Nothing too crazy. 
Um, I got my lamps on the floor right now because I've been searching for nightstands and why are they so expensive? Then on top of that, they're not even that cute, but I got my little gold lamps from Target. Um, Alexa, turn all lights on. Okay. Love that. I just love that so much. Uh, I just had to show y'all that. <laughs> okay. But then I got my um I got my actual bed from Wayfair. Wasn't the cheapest, but it has drawers built in underneath. So that's that. Um I actually got my entire bed set. So the comforter, the pillows, the pillowcases, the sheets everything i got everything this is actually a king size bed set and i got it from burlington for the cheap cheap for the cheap cheap okay so i think i'm gonna do a blue pink gold vibe in here i'm trying to figure it out but i gotta put my curtains up um and kind of use this space as like a sitting area or whatever then i got my chair from college and right here this is actually my old business shelf and i just flipped it to the side and hypothetically my tv would go right here but i'm kind of thinking maybe i don't need the tv in here because it keeps me from wanting to get in the bed because there's nothing back here and that's pretty much it well i got the entire house painted y'all got the entire house painted y'all seen i got the pink walls i didn't just get the pink walls done i got the entire house painted you know the white color so it's fresh and i got my sinks done wow i didn't tell you none of that but we're gonna work on this guest room for a little bit i'm gonna be completely honest like i really want this room to be together so i can actually use it as an office because my business is a little down right now because i'm trying to plan for like a revamp restore restart you know we try to go up this year you know what i'm saying but right now i need the coins i need the coins i don't have no desk i'm looking for a desk well i got a desk that i want to get but i need the money for the desk i need a chair for the desk that's really all i need in here for real but if y'all want to give me some money send me some money man so i can get this business going invest in me Apple Pay. <laughs> if you need my cash app, my cash app is drip by KP. Invest. starting to hurt i'm folding up my laundry right now but i think i'm done putting up what i think fits or has a place right now i went from an empty house tour to what i won't say fully furnished but like it's a lot of stuff in here so i just want to keep y'all updated on that i'm gonna fold and put away my clothes 
And then I think we're gonna go in the kitchen and cook cause it's getting a little late. But I think before that, I'm gonna just like take a shower, look a little better. Like I just wanna look a little better on this vlog at some point because I feel like I'm looking busted. But I wanna make it a habit that if I don't go to church, I at least want to get in a sermon on Sunday or a sermon once a week because I could have did this yesterday. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, this is what we're making today. This ain't no cooking channel, girl. This is just me cooking. I'm hungry. So it said to boil some water. So that's what we're gonna do boil some water. Battery dead already, girl. We just get started. Camera died, so I had a battery charging and it wasn't it wasn't plugged up all the way. So we're gonna wing this right now. So I have my um I have this pepper. I ain't never ever 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 cooked with nothing like this. I got my shallot, what is it called? Scallions. I got my scallions. I'm just gonna chop up these two and then hopefully I can check back in before we get to the pan. Add the meat, so we're gonna add the meat. So let's crack this meat open. This is from all D. It said I only need 10 ounces. I put in just about half, but I'm gonna season this up. I'm adding the scallion southwest spice and salt and pepper. They give you like a little package of seasoning like this. All that seasoning in there. I'm sorry, I'm checking y'all up. Like I'm checking this package. I put the white scallions, and I'm about to add the pot. Well, I'm mixing it in, girl. Cooking that meat. Cooking that meat. The Southwest. I said the Southwest. The Southwest smells like taco seasoning. So I think the meat is done. I've been chopping up these peppers because I'm really not going to want to eat these big old peppers. Because honestly, I don't even know if I like peppers. Never been something that I ate. And it said to add this tomato paste. We adding some sour cream in there. This is the home stretch. I'm adding whatever this is. Red pepper crema. They hurt and they said add a teaspoon of butter. And then it said add a half, half of this bag of cheese. And some more freaking salt and pepper. Hold on. Cause it's, we didn't put salt and pepper in here about four times already. Oh. I'm supposed to add the pasta, girl. Hold on, before I get too, too, um, I'm distracted. I'm supposed to add the pasta. All the recipes I've been doing so far have included ingredients that I don't usually eat. And I'm gonna say that lightly because it really be stuff that I don't like. But you know, I guess, you know, when it's mixed in with everything, it's not that bad, so. It told me to add some hot sauce. And honestly, I don't do hot. And I don't even know what type of, I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna add just a little bit. And y'all, I have no idea what this is about to taste like. Okay, so how can I finesse no lid? This is the lid to, nope, <laughs> This is all I got. I gotta do the best I can with what I got. I'm so hungry. My legs is hurting. My back is hurting. My back of the knee is hurting. I'm hurting. But I'm cooking. And I'm cooking. And I'm hungry. And I'm hungry. I think it's done. Been about two minutes. Let me just try to get a close up of the food. A real, real visual. Okay. Look at that. That food look good on camera. Okay, I'm gonna just plate it up. Okay, so it's good to add my little scallions on top. Let me get that cheesy piece. Without making a mess. I think I did pretty doggone good, okay? So let's see. Okay, 
give you all a bite. Focus on me. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I cooked it right, but I have just never eaten anything like this ever. I've never ordered this. My parents have never made anything like this. Um, the only way I can describe the flavor is it tastes like if you were to make tacos and then you just put pasta instead of the taco shell. That's literally what it tastes like. So that's really all I could compare it to. So yeah. My little time has left me and I don't think I'm gonna be able to paint tonight like I wanted to, but I'm about to listen to this sermon. This is new birth. Thank God YouTube is so invasive and they just save all your search history because all I had to search up was pastor and it came up because I surely forgot. Because I haven't really looked at a sermon since last year, so let's get into it. I'm about to journal while I do this sermon. I'm get some of that Lord's word tonight. 1,700 people become millionaires a day. Mm. 1,700 people. Not this year. Not this month. Huh? Before midnight, 1,700 people will become millionaires. I don't know how you feel about Sign that. Sign me up, pastor. Your role right now. <laughs> How many of y'all mm. got that kind of crazy mm. faith that God can make me a millionaire mm. in one day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Child, 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 child. <sighs> y'all, this, this is like my third time trying to record this and it's hard for me to speak right now. I don't know if like the enemy is trying to attack me or what, but... I'm going to say what I have to say, okay? I just want to talk to y'all about the sermon because it was, I don't know, it was just so good to me. But um, basically because tomorrow, well, today now, because it's past 12, is Martin Luther King Day. So the sermon was based on Martin Luther King. And it was titled, You Sure You Want to Be a King? Now, of course, like we all know, like anybody in like high leadership that's promoted to a higher power or a higher achievement in life has like hardships and Martin Luther King is definitely a good example of that. We saw he was killed, um, he went to jail multiple times and we're just gonna get into it. So he started off with saying how Martin Luther King tried to commit suicide twice. He tried the first time when he was 12 years old and the second time when he was 15. He actually was so smart that he was pushed ahead two grades. So he was two grade levels of head of his classmates. So he ended up being socially awkward. So think about basically, you know, his childhood wasn't the best, but you know, it was still a purpose for him. It, he was meant to be a king, right? That part resonated with me a lot because I had a horrible, horrible middle school experience. It's probably like the some of the worst times like of my life. And when I was really, really young, I thought about committing suicide. I never did it. Um, so like I know like that's such a big portion of your life, and that's why I want to pour into kids so much because. I don't want them to go through, you know, some of the stuff I went through and it really just takes somebody to just pull them out of it to like make it out. So he was saying how, you know, parents play a big role, like stop yelling at your kids, you know, wait for your kids, believe that they have a purpose, believe that they're going to be a king. So he continued to talk about Martin Luther King and how after he was assassinated, maybe like a year or two later, somebody came into the church and killed his mother. His mother was assassinated. So it was saying, as for a parent, it's hard to be a parent of a king. You know, it's just like how God had to give his only son, like he had to watch his child die, you know? So that is the burden you have to carry as a parent. They was talking about how you need to stop stressing 
do not stress give yourself hypertension you know all of this stuff that stress you know puts on you because you're so stressed about your child and me and my mom had those issues we had those issues and i was just like you know the stress that you have not just about me but just about life can kill you can kill you and then the last part he was saying that martin luther king's brother one year and some change after Martin Luther King was assassinated, his brother went out looking for the killer. He wanted to know who murdered his brother. And it says so-called, you know, maybe he knew too much and he was found dead a year or so after Martin Luther King's assassination drowned in a pool when he was a licensed like swimmer. So, like, basically, if he was a lifeguard, he was found drowning in his own pool. So, then he started going in about how the enemy will attack your siblings. Oh, my gosh. The enemy will attack your siblings. And I don't think y'all understand how much I love my brother. Woo! It's too much. It's too much. I'm not finna cry again. But I just love my brother so much. So when he was just like praying over the siblings, like it's, woo. I do like feel like a higher calling on my life. And just manifesting that like my kids are going to be so straight. Like, mind you, I didn't come from a poor family. My family is not poor. But to know that the wealth that my grandparents created, the wealth that my parents created, do you understand? And my kids are going to be set. He was saying that 1,700 people a day become a millionaire. Become a millionaire. I've never aspired to be a millionaire. But I aspire to make good money. And especially, if, if not me make the millions, my kids are going to make the millions. Two last things he was saying. When Jesus was up on the cross, they crowned him. Okay? They crowned him with a crown of thorns. They said it was 70 or so nails and thorns or whatever. Basically saying that the little things, multiple little things can take a big thing down, you know? And they were aiming for his brain, okay? They were aiming for his brain because the enemy wants you to lose your mind. You got to keep your mind stay on Christ. And he was saying that the crown that we carry, the crown that you receive, is you fulfilling your dream. Y'all, this is my last thing before I go to bed because I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long, but the last thing that he was saying was, the devil feeds on you being comfortable. Because if you're comfortable, you won't feel a need to call on God. And let me just let that resonate with y'all because think about how if you had everything that you wanted, if you had everything that you needed in life, you were excelling in life, everything was just peaches and cream, you wouldn't think to call on God like that because you feel like you don't need him. So sometimes the devil will make sure that your plan goes to pass seamlessly, effortlessly. No work, no hardship, no nothing. Because then you get in a state where you feel like you don't need God. He wants you to stop following God and follow him. So life will be easy. Mm. I, 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 on that note, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As much as I enjoyed making it, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, but I know you want to see more of me. Less of me, more him. But without further ado, I will see y'all in next week's upload. Uh, mm.